Hey guys. Hello, hello. Happy Mon no, Tuesday evening. How's everybody doing? Jerry Landry here with the Weathered Shed. I am pulling y'all up on my iPad here so I can make sure I can see everyone okay. Say hello as you're coming in. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me okay and hopefully see everything okay? Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Denise. So I have a really cute, fun little project I wanted to do tonight, and I'm actually using um, these amazing silkscreen transfers. They're, they're um, like a silkscreen, like silkscreening a t-shirt. They're reusable. They're adhesive. They're amazing, as you will see. <laughs> so I'm actually using pieces and parts from two different designs. Um, and I have this um, black wood round that I've simply painted with a matte paint, matte black. And then I sprayed it with a matte finish. And I am ready to, um, to put some amazing chalk paste on it with these transfers. So that is what I'm doing tonight. So I'm going to use the slopes um, from this particular design, The Mountains Are Calling. And I'm just going to get this peeled off here. Like I said, these are if you've never seen this product before, these are silk screen transfers, not stencils. Completely different than anything you've ever seen before on the market. So I'm going to hold this up to the screen. You guys can, or yes, hold it, hold it up to the screen, but you can see the screen in here, right? Look at that. Amazing. That's why you can get the level of detail that these have in them. It's um, a stencil. You can't do that with a stencil. So this particular design, this transfer, I've used before, but I'm going to put a little bit of fuzz on it. I'm putting it on my, my apron that I have on. You guys can't see it because I don't want it to be too sticky that it pulls up the, the fibers of the wood. So I'm just going to, I have holes in here because I'm actually going to hang um, this really cool jute rope um, from it uh, when it's finished. So um, I apologize if my shoulder's in the way, but I'm trying to just get this lined up correctly here, making sure everything's straight. So I'm going to go up kind of high like so and I'm just going to press this down like I said these are adhesive and um, they're reusable which is pretty stinking awesome I see there's a little a fiber in here I could see through the silk screen so I want to get that out of there so I'm just only going to use the mountains on this because I want the mountains to be in the background um, to look like you know, snow-capped mountains. Because this is kind of close right here, I'm going to cover up this word with some painter's tape just to make sure I don't go over the edge. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Denise. Thank you guys for joining. As you guys come in, if you wouldn't mind sharing this out, hit the share button in your lower left hand. I would really appreciate it. It blesses me in my business um, when you can share out my videos. It shows me the love, so I really appreciate that. So I am going to do this top section all in white. So I'm just going to grab a rubber squeegee here. All right, so I am just going to put some globs of white up here. And then I am going to take a, this is uh, an angled squeegee. It's kind of hard and it's nice because it really allows you to drag the chalk paste across the image very quickly. And if you guys have not seen this product before and you want to know more about it, I have a special uh, VIP group set up that's all about it. Um, I have tips and tricks and deals and other videos in there. So if you'd like to join that, I will uh, post a link in here shortly when, my, when I'm done with this video. And also, if you have questions on anything, um, please don't hesitate to ask, okay? It's pretty amazing, um, as you will see. 
Now there are, um, this wood is not completely smooth, but I'm pretty confident this design should come out pretty good. So as you can see, I barely used any. I scraped a ton back off. You want to be able to see the image through there, and actually I got more right there I missed. Put that in the jar. And then I'm simply going to take, and I'm going to peel back, peel and reveal this amazing design. Look at that. It's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this in water and then move on to the next part. Look how simple that was. Simple, simple. Grabbing some paper towel. Perfectly clear, right guys? I mean, look at how nice that looks. Okay, so the next portion I'm going to do is the, um, the lettering that I want to put on here. So I'm putting the slopes are calling and I must go. So that is what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to peel that off of its backing. And again, you can see the screen through here, but as, you, as I hold it really close, see that even there's distressing in the letters, you guys. If you're familiar with like a, sil um, a silhouette cameo or a cricket where you have to cut out vinyls to make, make your stencil, you can't get that level of detail that's in these by using, a, um, using one of those cutting machines. It's just, it's impossible, so. That is why this is so cool and so unique. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I'm terrible with eyeballing how um, straight things are, you guys. It's, it's one of my downfalls, I hate to say. But half the battle is admitting it, right? <laughs> I am not perfect by any means. It looks, it's funny because when you cut these out, because these are you know pieces and parts of transfers, that designs that are cut up. And if you don't cut the line straight, obviously it messes with your eye. Um, and you can think it's straight and it's not. So let me just hold it up here. That looks pretty darn good. All right, um, a color. What color should the words be? Um, eee. That's always the challenge, as you guys know, if you've watched me before. That always gets to be a challenge for me. Oh, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I am going to do that in a mint green. Where's my mint green? I love my mint green. Come on, mint green. Where are you? Um, so how's everybody doing? What's everybody up to? Have you guys seen me do this before? I know some of you have. So my mint green, I love, love, love my mint green. Let me show you that color. It's really pretty. Um, but I think it's kind of going to tie in really well with my color scheme here. So let me just get a stir stick. As you guys come in, if you wouldn't mind showing me some love and blessing me by sharing out this video, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so this is this paste is a little chunky, but it'll still work fine because you can push through it with your squeegee. I'm gonna cover up my other paste because you don't want it to dry out. This is just a water-based, water-soluble chalk paste, not paint. It's called, it's a chalk paste. So you definitely wanna keep it covered up because you don't want it to dry out on you. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do this in this green because it's very pretty. And again, I'm not too worried about the fact that there's a few chunks in there. Like I said, I can smooth them out as I'm dragging. Look at this. Dragging along. Quickly. The paste does dry fairly quickly, so you don't want to dilly-dally. You want to make sure that you move along quickly, dragging over those silk screen areas, and you can see exactly where you've missed. And then, again, look at how much paste I'm putting back into the jar. 
It's unbelievable how little you use. It's amazing. And that you can just, you know, get tons of projects out of these little jars of paste. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab it from one end and I'm going to pull it off. Look at that. Perfect. And again, I'm going to throw this in water because you don't want the, um, the paste to dry inside the screen. Isn't that awesome, you guys? Look at that. It's so perfect. Let me just see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. You guys are all quiet out there. What is the dealio? Everyone's so quiet. Let me see. Can I can I get you guys in closer? It's so hard when your when your camera is in the the holder to try and drag. Um, it's like it's almost impossible to um, to. Uh, uh, there we go. Zoom you guys in. There we go. I got it. I got it. I'm a little technically challenged. It's where I always need Shabby Daddy because he he helps me out. All right. Okay, so the next fun part is the actual truck itself, the vintage truck. The cherished vintage truck, which we all love so dearly. Those of us that have used this product before are absolutely in love with the vintage truck. So I am going to be putting, I'm actually going to be putting snowboards in the back of the truck, you guys. They're so cute. So um, I want to move this up a bit. So I have the body, and the body is actually going to be Buffalo Check, you guys. Say what? Buffalo Check. So cute. So I'm going to um, put this about right here, I think. Um Let's see, and if I hold the actual body portion over it, I can kind of see where I'm going to end up lining up here. So I think that's perfect. Um, all right, so it's going to be a buffalo check body. I'll scoot up my board so you can see a little bit better. And this comes in a complete, this is like an at, the truck is sold separately. The truck design is sold separately. And then you um, buy all these little different add-ons. We have a summer, a winter, um, and they're just all so adorable. Um, I actually think I could maybe go up even a little more. But I'm going to leave them there. Okay, so vintage truck body has to be a buffalo check in red. So I have this pressed down and I'm just going to take the red paste and take another squeegee here and drag it across. So if you guys know someone who loves to DIY or you know, even that person that says, I am not crafty, anybody can do this, you guys. So share this video with them. I do workshops on this using this product. Um, I have, if you look in events, I have several workshops scheduled out um, to use this pro product on various different surfaces. It's new, it's exciting, it's different. So if you're local, um, please check those out and share them with your friends. Come out, seating is limited and you do have to pre-register and pay. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna hit this with a blow dryer because you guys will see the buffalo check come to life as it dries. And try and cover up my paste with my, with my left hand. <laughs> Which I'm not good at doing anything with my left hand. Yikes! Okay. Come on, come on, dry, dry. Now you want to make, because you're doing a layering, you want to make sure that this lower layer is completely dry. So bear with me. Bear with the noise. 
There is a bit of a glare on my board I see there. Maybe, can I tilt the camera? Does that make a difference? I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Not really, but it, you'll, you'll be able to see better, I think, when I get this next color on, hopefully. All right. So cute. All right, I think that's good. So that is key is to making sure that when you do a layer like this at your um, buffalo plaid, yay, that this lower layer is completely dry, okay? So now I'm gonna take that body outline of the truck now and you can see, because you can see through the truck, um, you can see exactly where to line up the, the edges of the truck design and your wheel wells. Obviously that's hard for you guys to see on um, camera, but just trust me, that's how it works. So I'm just going to do that, line it up here. Mm, let's see. This top part, it's a little, uh, yeah, you want the top of the truck body bed to be about right there, and then the wheel wells. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to press that down, and I'm going to do the outline of the body in um, a gray, because I like the two of those together, so I'm going to use this... Um, Elephant Gray, it's called. So let me give that a stir. Who doesn't love Buffalo Plaid, right? Okay. And again, I'm just going to put dabs of this paste around so that I have enough to cover my image. Loving the angled squeegee because, again, I get more drag on this than I do with the smaller squeegees that we have. And just start dragging. And you guys, you, you're you seeing like how fast this is going. Um, it's crazy. Crazy how fast and you can make something so cool. That is why I love it. Because I can whip out designs and creations so stinking fast and to look this good without all that effort of sitting down cutting machine loading vinyl transferring the vinyl painting the rumpus I mean don't don't get me wrong it has its place I still do custom work I still do a lot of custom signs but um, this is definitely a whole lot easier. So there's some pigments, natural pigments in this paste. So I see some red coming through. So all I'm doing is taking my finger and um, rubbing those areas to blend anything that I see that looks reddish. Um, that is a tip. Um, all right. So I need to get that off now because I can see it's drying already. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. Ah, this never gets old, you guys. It never, ever gets old. I'm telling you, it is so addicting. Um, it's so stinking cute. So let me dry that. So stinking cute. Thanks, Brenda. Yeah, isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So the other tip I have for you guys is um, the reason that I pre-spray my boards is if I get anything outside a line or whatever, I can just wipe it off with a, a wet rag or a baby wipe. 
um, and it comes right off because I've already pre-sprayed it. So it doesn't have a chance to like absorb into, you know, my paint of the surface. So pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to hold that up. Look at that. How stinking cute is that? How cute is that? So cute. Okay. So now I am going to put these little snowboards in the back. And this again is um is two layers. So the boards themselves and then the little um bootstrap part goes on here. So I'm going to put these just line these up with the top of the truck bed like so. Stick them down. What color do you think those boards should be, you guys? I have no idea. Um I don't know. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, a blue? Should they be a blue, like a, a vintage blue, or should I just do them in white, gray? That's always the challenge. I don't know. Colors stink. I hate that. I hate picking up colors, you guys. Um, Snowboards, aren't snowboards like, I don't snowboard, so I have no idea. Are they usually wild colors or are they usually kind of tame? I don't know. Anyone, anyone? Peacock blue bright, really, you think so? With all the other colors I got going on? I was thinking, I was thinking maybe this Nantucket blue, but um, I'm concerned because I have this green going on up here. So, you know, do I, I don't know. Or do I do a teal? Wild and crazy? Ha! Oh, Lord. That scares me. It scares me to do wild and crazy. I just don't want all the colors to clash. I'm always like, Always worried about that. <laughs> Roxanne, you're so funny. Um, do I do a darker blue maybe? Um, this blue? I have no clue, guys. Do you guys know anybody that snowboards? I'm too old to do snowboarding. Too old. Okay, I'm just going to do this blue. I like this vintage blue. Um, this is called... Yep, Nantucket blue. I like it. That's what I'm going with. Okay, so again, dabs of the paste on here. And take a squeegee. Drag it. Like so. Again, scrape in the excess. Put it back in my jar. Crazy, crazy good, just like that. Done, bam, look at those. Oh, so cute, so stinking cute. Cover up my paste. So darn cute, blow them dry. Hey guys, say hello as you're coming in. I have a whole bunch of you out here and nobody's saying anything. Hello, hello. Okay, so these are like almost dry already, you guys. Look at that, crazy. High for a minute, turn it on high. Make sure they're dry. I don't wanna pull off any color. Yeah, I think that was a good choice. I like that color. They're so cute. And again, I've not done these snowboards before. This is my first time. Hey, Shelly. How are you, my dear? I haven't seen you around in a while. You've been busy? All right, look at those little snowboards. How stinking cute. How stinking cute. 
Okay, so here's the little buckles, you guys, and look at, so the snowboards had the number one in the corner, and then the buckles have the number two, so that's how you know what piece and part goes first. And um, you take these, and you line them up. Okay, so this is where I need the help of my team, because I don't know how to line up these little registration marks, because I've not done this one before. So how does this work, you guys? Working a lot, Shelly? Yeah. So how does this work? Help me, somebody. Do you know? I'm not sure how they go, to be honest with you. Um, I think I'm just going to have to wing it. I think that looks about right right there. They're like on there. Registration marks on the snowboards. Oh, was I supposed to like mark them? I mean, was I supposed to do those in? Hey, Linda. Hey, Janie. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. I don't know how to do these little registration marks. This is all new. So I was supposed to mark them. Okay, well, we're not, we don't have no time for that right now. <laughs> so I am winging it, girls. I'm winging it. I'm winging it. So I think. The buckles, like the clasp areas, actually overhang the board. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm going for it, going for it. So I'm going to do those in a, um, a cream color. Um, yeah. Cream color, which my cream color looks very dry. So I just put a couple squirts of water in there. So if your paste is dry, and this one's getting really low, um, just put a little water in it, mix it up until it's the right consistency. You kind of want it to be like marshmallow fluff. You want it to be fluffy nutter, nutter fluffy, whatever you say. And just put some dabs on there. A little dab will do ya. First one had marks, you cover with paste, then add the next one. Oh, cool. See, my designers are on here that have done this before, and they're educating me. How do you like that, you guys? <laughs> they're giving me a lesson tonight. I love it. I love it. Okay, so um, again, just scraping off the excess back into my jar. So stinking cute. Somebody who's a, uh, you know, loves the mountains, loves to ski, loves to snowboard. Look at that. Oh, so cute. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is, this is, this never gets boring. I'm telling you. Every, I could just sit out here all day long and create with this stuff over and over. Um, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Adorable. Who wouldn't love to get that as a gift, right? Um, I'm going to zoom back out because I want to show you guys my little twine that I want to put on here. Um, so this is my rope. You guys can see I put a couple holes in the top of here um, so that I can feed this rope through here. It's going to be so cute to hang on a front door or anywhere in your house for that matter. Okay, come on now. Of course, I had it fed through here earlier. And now because all eyes, the whole world is watching, it's not going to come through very easily. There we go. Come on. So feed this through. Tie your cute little knot. On here swing it over put one on the other side how cute is that you guys isn't that adorable oh it's so cute so cute such a great little Christmas gift um, I will show you guys finished pictures I'll hang it um, on my front door or somewhere where you can see it really um, really well yeah so yeah, these are the brand new letters that actually come with the winter add-on. Isn't it adorable? 
Um, and I may actually do a couple, I may do a couple little more things to it. I'm not sure yet, but I absolutely love that. Who wouldn't love to give get that as a gift for Christmas, right guys? Um, let me try and put it on an angle so you can see a little better without the glare there. But isn't that adorable? So stinking cute. Thanks, Linda. Yeah, it's just so cute and so easy to make, you guys. So that is all I have for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Everybody have a great rest of your evening. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.